Did you know that more germs are transferred through a handshake than through kissing? So say Noah had a cold. We'd be transferring more germs through this than if we, say, did this. Welcome to Smosh Lab. Guys, I gotta be real honest with you. I am stoked for this experiment today. I've seen it done before. There were no survivors except for me. It is called the Foam Fountain of Science. That's right, that's right. And uh, to help me do it, since I don't know anything about science, our friendly neighborhood science man, Nick Uhas from Nickopedia. Yeah! Oh, yeah! What right. up, bro? We just transferred so many germs. Ah. So many germs. Would you rather transfer germs another way? <laughs> I already kissed Noah, so it's, it's you know, it's, but maybe. Okay, cool. How much danger are we gonna be in today? So, actually, this one is quite dangerous. Not Great. Even, not even gonna lie a little bit. The thing that is the most dangerous in this whole setup right here, poison. <laughs> <laughs> hydrogen peroxide, it says 35%. Precisely. So, 35% hydrogen peroxide is seven times the uh, concentration of hydrogen peroxide that you would put on a cut. Like, right, that's, yeah. okay, okay. What would happen if I put this on a cut? That would potentially corrode your hand to right. the point to where you would have no skin. But the cut would be better. The cut would be great. <laughs> what do people use usually? this for. Why would you even need that, right? Right, this uh, is to well, get rid of a body, right? <laughs> you have a lot of this. Well, you know. Okay. Um, it's actually just for cleaning. So you have like a kitchen, and let's say you have an industrial kitchen. You okay. need to like literally kill everything that's alive in the whole vicinity. Mm -hmm. Hydrogen peroxide. Right there. So wow. what happens is hydrogen peroxide, the chemical formula for it is H2O2. And when you put hydrogen peroxide on something that is organic, it lyses the cell, and then you get oxygen gas. What do you mean by lysing the cell? So by lysing the cell, it opens the cell up. It actually kind of it erodes at the lipid bilayer that is uh -huh. making the cell. The skin of the cell? Yeah, basically, the, like, the, yeah. Okay, okay. And yeah. it just takes it and just like, no! It, it's pretty much. It destroys <laughs> it. What do you call a carrier pigeon, not like science? What? A beaker. <laughs> because it, it carries things ah! inside it. Um, do we want to just cancel this show? Yeah. No. No, I was okay. thinking about that. Yeah, maybe. Kids, don't try this at home, by the way. Don't. don't. They, just don't. It won't react the same if you just use a normal, regular hydrogen peroxide yeah. the 5%. If you got it in your eye, you it can just go blind. Your... Like, it's, it's, um, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Safety first. Okay, yeah, those. Um, I think we should yeah, you know reiterate. What? Don't try this at home. Also, don't try this outside. Yeah, um, just go ahead. I think you've watched enough Smosh. Don't try anything that we do. Don't do that! Oh my god! I was about to die! Uh, it's just not smart. So we have hydrogen peroxide, we've got some palm olive here. Yes. Uh, to clean up the mess. <laughs> kind of. It's actually gonna kind of create the mess. We're gonna take this hydrogen peroxide, we're gonna put it in this Erlenmeyer flask. Okay. Then, we're going to take this over here, which is called it potassium iodide. Have you ever gotten a shot? Yes. Like, and they rub this like iodide sort of liquid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks yellow, mm -hmm. right? That's basically what this is, but in a crystalline form. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dissolve this into water. And once we do that, then we're gonna combine that with our hydrogen peroxide and soap mixture. Cool. I'm gonna give you like the simpler tasks, okay. the, the less dangerous ones. The dumb I tasks, yeah. Well, not, not so dumb. I, I just mean, don't, I should have just taken that. You know, hydrogen peroxide your face off. Yeah. Get in there, buddy. Get in there. Is that too much? No, that's pretty good. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this hydrogen peroxide up in here. I mean, we're just gonna eye this. I'm gonna keep yeah, then. What you do with dangerous chemicals? You're just like, we're gonna eyeball it. We're gonna see how this goes. We're like the most dangerous bartenders in the world right now. You're supposed to add like a, like a three count to this. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. Pretty solid. You said a three count, and then you went to five. <laughs> so, I think we're gonna die now. Is this mixing properly? I You're hitting aqueous, which means that no more 
of those molecules can be dissolved in that water solution. That water just won't accept anymore. It's just he's like a bouncer at a club. He's like, I'm sorry, we've had we have enough iodide in here. Uh, you're gonna have to wait. Too many iodides dudes in here. <laughs> oh. All right. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna pour it as quickly as possible. Get all that liquid in there. And I'm gonna step back a little bit here. Right. Yeah. You go where it's safe. Over here. I'll be right here with the danger in the danger zone. Three, two, one. Pour it in there. Oh. oh my god. You have created oh, life. Nice. What would you like to name it? Uh uh, can we name him uh L L P, like a little P. Feel oh how warm my it gosh. Is. I know, when it got on my hand, I thought it was gonna I was gonna burn alive. <laughs> So the chemical formula for hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. When you add that potassium iodide, it works as a catalyst. And what it does is it actually takes off one of those oxygens and a free floating oxygen will then combine with another oxygen, get you O2. Okay. The O2 is then like, yo, I'm trying to get out of here. Like AC. I'm trying to get out of this club now. <laughs> Too many iodudes in here, I'm out. What happens though is that the iodudes um, together as an O2 gas, mm -hmm. then get caught up in the foam, like a foam party kind of in a way. Yeah. yeah. They get caught up in the soapy liquid and then it creates foam. So O2 plus soap and water equals foam. This is literally just soap and water now. So you oh. could clean with this. The only issue is that there's a little bit of iodide left over in here, and so that will stain your clothes yellow. Oh, great. Yep, should have probably told you that first. Oh, no, it's all good. <laughs> I'm just wearing my Armani pants. It works on a small scale, right? What if we used one of these? Oh! Wow. All right, so we know how this is done. We know the magic, we know the iodudes and the hydrogen peroxides. So now we're gonna use the power of magic to flash forward in time. All right, now we're all prepped. We got some science ladies here Yay! to help us out. Yay! Yeah, science ladies. Science yeah. Ladies. And uh, as you can see, the Erlenmeyer flasks are much bigger. Uh, this is going to be the Texas of science experiments. All right, so we're going to basically do the exact same thing. It's turning cold, or is that water? That is cold? yes, no, that is true. So it's an endothermic reaction, which means it's actually like instead of releasing heat, it's taking heat in. I've noticed this is getting much, much colder. Can I put this in drinks? Uh, I would not put that in any drink. Okay. Of, of sorts. It'd be salty, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, it probably would taste salty. It'd be deadly. So if this touches bare skin, it burns. It doesn't burn, like it won't like burn your face off, but it dries the skin very quickly and like it turns it to that. Uh, and that'll just create so much wrinkles. <laughs> Like it's not gonna dissolve your skin. Long enough exposure, uh, yeah, it, okay. it would probably do that. Oh, I'm so nervous. All right. Oh my god. Right. Here we go! Do you wanna give it one last swirl? Give your best like mad scientist woo ha ha ha. We don't really have a lot of space back here, guys, but when we do this, we're gonna try to Cluster back away. There. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna do this very quickly. All right, guys, and are you ready? Three, two, one, pour, 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 pour. It's like whoa, 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 all, all we have now is just water at this point. I totally forgot. Without the palm, uh, there would be no foam. All right, guys, this time we're gonna do things a little different. We're gonna remember the soap. Yeah, yeah. nice. Okay. Oh, yeah. So. so. All right, now again, safety first. We're gonna do this. We're gonna approach backwards quickly. Now, if you don't get all of it in there, that's fine. It might hit your cup. Um, that's okay, just move away quickly. All right, pee, Bob, hope. All right, and okay. three, Two,
Yes! Back away. Ah! Oh! It's like I'm stuck! Yo! Hey, no! In the arms of the angel. Look at it! It's on the ceiling! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Oh! 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 It's like Neapolitan It's rainbow ice sherbet. Sherbet? Sherbet. Like Norbit. Guys, what did, what did we learn today? I learned that, but, whoa, this yeah. is some crazy stuff. I learned that hi, don't mess with hydrogen peroxide or iodide when they get together, because boy, do they make a party. Yeah, and it. food coloring makes everything a great time. Dude, and make sure to remember soap. Don't forget the soap. And wear goggles. All right, that was the Foam Fountain of Science. Thank you, Nick. Guys, like, subscribe, come back for more. This was awesome. What's up, IO dudes? What do you call a sexy pile of foam? A sexy mo foam! Haha! <laughs> Click the box on the left for more science stuff. Bye! <laughs>